Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. So in today's video, we are going to examine what exactly is Xiaomi EU Hybrid ROM. Now the concept of about Xiaomi EU Hybrid ROM was actually being shared by the um, shared in the Xiaomi EU forum as an announcement. Well, uh, it has been said that the supported device from Redmi and Poco will actually receive these hybrid ROMs. So let us try to examine what exactly is hybrid ROM. Now, if you actually try to uh, look at a hybrid ROM with a normal recovery ROM, the normal recovery ROM would only have the, um, the required images which can be flashed through a recovery. So that is how a normal recovery ROM works. So you can see over here, see this is actually a modified ROM. This is a MIUI 12.5 Indonesian version which has been modified. So basically pretty much you can see that there is no fast boot images available. So by hybrid, what Xiaomi EU tells like, tells is that you just need to have a simple, a single file which can you can actually take it as a passport image ROM as well as a recovery flashable ROM. That is something that you can see over here. So you can actually basically see all the files here, which is actually uh, for different operating system like uh, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So these are the files which actually uh, contains information or contains the 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 things for the Passboot, uh, passboot to boot it in passboot. So pretty much, you in a hybrid ROM you will have those files which are required for recovery as well as for the passboot image, which you can understand from here. These you can actually flash through a recovery. So this is actually helping you to flash through the recovery, like the metadata and all are present over here. So pretty much update uh, binary update script and stuff like that. But if you go back to the images section, you can see that there is boot image for your kernel. And um, there isn't actually VB meta is present here. You won't be able to see anything related to vendor and stuff like that. Just say super image one, two, three, that's it. But once you come back over here, you go to bin and you can see that again Linux, Mac OS, Windows. So basically, the hybrid ROM just means that there is actually passport images which inside in the zip so that's it nothing more than that you can flash these roms for a normal recovery whichever you flash as an example i want to flash um xiaomi eu miui 13 rom android 12 rom this rom onto my poco m3 device i can use the orange box recovery whichever that supports the xiaomi the, the miui android 12 roms uh, I believe it is orange box recovery. So basically, I will flash, take the orange box recovery, flash it as a normal, um, normal file in the recovery. Just boot. That's it. Do we have any significant in, in, perform, improvement in terms of performance? Well, I found the ROM to be a bit more smoother. Of course, you can watch the review of the ROM which I have already booted using the hybrid ROM zip file. So you will have more understanding. So to summarize, hybrid ROM is just a ROM zip file which actually contains the fast boot images as well as the recovery file. That's it. But in terms of size, you can see that it the last recovery file for Xiaomi U was somewhere between uh, 3 GB and 3.2 GB, maybe a couple of, uh, I mean, yeah, 200 MB less or plus or minus. But right now it is almost like 3.7 GB. So the size has actually increased, which means that when you are trying to copy it into your SD card, you have to make sure that there is enough uh, space left to copy this file. So that is only something that I have noticed. Once again, thank you for watching this video. I hope your doubt has been clarified. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.